Aha, you thought the thumbnail was edited, didn't you? Hero, everybody. I am Hero Forever, and as the self-proclaimed god of Tomodachi life, I know more facts about this game than I do my own brother, especially when it comes to getting me's to get down and dirty. Many people wonder how exactly I managed to spend two years uploading romance drama to TikTok almost daily without running out of me's to pair up. How is my island so full of the juicy interactions between characters that should never interact in the first place? Today, I am going to show you exactly how to get all of this on your island. These tricks will work for all 3DS models and should still work if Nintendo ever decides to make a sequel, unless they add autosave or something stupid. This video will be broken down into three sections, gender, friendship, and drama. And each of these sections will be split into two parts, vanilla, aka an unhacked 3DS, and modded, aka using a hacked or emulated 3DS. I've added the modding section for those that already know how to hack a 3DS. Please do research before attempting these methods as they can potentially ruin your 3DS save files. Okay, no more yapping, let's do this. In Tomodachi Life, you can set your Miis to one of two genders, male or female. As a non-binary person, I usually ignore this and pick at random for an added layer of drama. And the game is weird with pronouns anyway, so you'll probably never see a Miis gender get brought up besides in the town hall. When making Miis, you should remember that Nintendo doesn't know what gayness is, so male Miis can only ask out female Miis and vice versa. This is important because if there isn't enough of one gender, then the majority of your island won't have anyone to reproduce. And since Tomodachi Life has a limit of 100 Miis per island, it's best to split it between 50 male and 50 females for maximum drama. But for how do I get so many Miis, you ask? Well, let me show you. The fastest way to make Miis is scanning QR codes. Inside your island town hall, click that QR code button and scan in a Mii. You can find hundreds of QR codes online. I'll link some resources in the description. If you prefer making Miis yourself, one thing you can do is quickly make a bunch of default Miis and then change them later. This way you can work on the Miis relationships while making the Miis, and you don't have to wait to decide on who you're making next. Keep in mind that you can't change a Miis gender after it's created. There's not a lot to say about hacking Miis into your game because it's much easier to add them from within the game. Though you could use the Tomodachi Life Save Editor to add Miis, it's not a very safe thing to do to your island, so I'm not going to tell you how to do it. I can make a video explaining the save editor in detail if you want. Let me know in the comments or something. Before we move on, I will add that you can use the save editor to change Amy's gender, but don't use it to make them gay. You'll corrupt your save data. So I'm speaking from experience here. Nintendo, give us the gay. Okay, this is the most important part of the video, okay? If you're gonna remember one thing from this, let it be that Mies can't ask out Mies that they aren't friends with. I get so many comments saying, I have a hundred Mies, but they never do anything. And that's because your Mies are introverted as fuck. Nintendo made these dweebs shy. They're not just gonna walk up to some stranger and say, hey, Pookie, let's date. They have to get to know them a little first, test the waters before diving in. And this is the same for me interrupting a confession. They only have the confidence to embarrass themselves in front of their friends. Luckily, there are a lot of things we can do to prompt our Miis to make friends. My favorite trick of all time is what I think is called re-rolling. First, turn on your 3DS and go and check the Miis apartments. If your Miis are being boring little shits, then exit out of Tomodachi Life without saving and try again. If it's been long enough since you last played, usually at least a few hours, then the Mii's needs will be reset. You can keep doing this until a Mii asks to be friends with another Mii. You'll know a Mii has a problem with another Mii when there's an orange icon in their apartment. This doesn't always mean friendship, so check first before saving the game. The most obvious problem is a fight between two Mii's. They will have either small puffs of smoke or fire coming off of them. If the Mii is in a relationship, then it could also be a breakup or a date request. But if your Mii isn't angry and it has no love life, then it's most likely a friend request. Once you're happy with whatever you've gotten, save the game! I know it sounds like Resetty, but it's true, okay? Sadly, you have to wait a little while before re-rolling again, but the more Mii's you have, the more friends for them to make. I re-roll my Mii's once every morning to increase the drama. But what if you're impatient and you want even more drama? Well, boy, do I have a solution for you. You see, over the course of making my TikToks, many people have claimed that I use a mod to increase the drama or that I force the Mii's to be in love with the save editor. While neither of these are true, I do use the save editor to aid me slightly, but it has no 
nothing to do with editing the me's love life. This is the trick for me drama. You'll see an immediate change in the horniness if you do this, okay? Are you ready to learn my ultimate secret? I forced them all to be friends! Ah, uh, yes, I, Hero Forever, used the save editor to immediately make my Mies friends with everyone on the island. Is that shocking news? People that only watch my TikTok may think so, but veteran YouTube subscribers know that I have been an avid hacker since the ripe age of 11 years old. I mean, look at my money in this game, that is not a natural bank account. So now that you know my little secret, I must warn you that doing this comes with a price. Forcing Mies to be friends is one of the easiest ways to corrupt your save data Trust me, I've done it so many times. My best advice for people that want to do this is to 1. Not use the most current save editor version. I stick with 4.0.1. And 2. Do not use the friend all button. This is how you break the game. You have to manually friend each me to avoid corruption. Please be very careful when hacking your 3DS. I will be making a tutorial on how to fix most corruptions, but if you end up corrupting or breaking anything, it's not my fault. You'll have been warned. So now you have tons of me's and they're all friends. What do you do now? Well, let me tell you that this is the easiest part of the process. These horny shits will stop at nothing to get with someone. Their only goal is to score. They don't care if the me is their brother or 50 years their senior. Seriously, Nintendo, please allow relationships to be defined outside of the lookalikes me family. I'm tired of telling Mario that he can't date Luigi. If the small chance that your Mies still aren't dating actually happens, then the first thing you do is start re-rolling again. This trick works with everything. Relationships, needs, mini games, you name it. Just keep restarting until you see all the hearts you want. I think the most hearts I've ever naturally gotten at once is nine, which is so cool. But wait, don't immediately click on the heart once you see it. Remember, there's a chance the me can say no to the confession. But how do you know if this will happen? After you see a heart, don't save the game. Instead, go into the Mies apartment but don't click on the heart just yet. First, look through their relationships and see who is most likely to be their crush. It can be hard to tell sometimes, but pick a few me's that fit all the criteria and then go to those me's apartments. If all of them have a low relationship with the me that is in love, aka the red status or lower, re-roll for another heart. If the me's relationship isn't orange or higher, then the other me will not show up no matter what. Finally, once you are sure as can be that your me has a chance at getting laid, save the game before clicking on the heart. That way, if something does go wrong, you can re-roll and try again. Or you don't have to re-roll. You can just wait for the drama to happen naturally. Once your me's have a bunch of friends, they'll just start asking out every me they see. I am jealous of the confidence that they have in themselves. And remember to save when you are happy with the results. Once again, you can definitely take things a step further with hacks. Using the save editor, you can force me's to be in a relationship or just give them hearts manually. I personally find it boring to have this much control, so I don't do this. What I like doing is much funnier. In the me relationship section, you can set how much a me likes another me. I like to go through and make all my me's really like each other. It's also useful if you have a heart, but the other me just won't show up at all. Please note that me's are very judgmental and that they will go back to hating their neighbors for no reason within a few days. You can't permanently force them to be besties. After doing this, pretty much all hearts are a guaranteed success, so go to town on playing matchmaker and setting up all your favorite ships of whatever weird things you plan to do. And there you go, now all your me's should be in maybe not so happy relationships, with drama flowing from every corner of your spherical island. But there are a few extra tips and other details that you might want to know before committing to this guide. All of these tips will also work for making babies. Remember that re-rolling is your best friend. The love compatibility machine has nothing to do with this. The machine runs on birthdays and nothing else. This isn't a theory, it's a proven fact. If a me gets turned down, don't turn off your 3DS. Remember to click their thought bubble to see if they want to try again. It doesn't always happen, but when it does, it's really funny. Do not try and force me's to be gay using the save editor. It will corrupt your save data. Yes, I've done it before. No, there are no workarounds. Headcanoning half of your me's as transgender is much safer for your save data and way more fun anyway. The location where a me confesses doesn't affect the outcome. Just like with the compatibility machine, it does 
doesn't help or hurt their chances at love and is just a fun extra game mechanic. Pick at random or don't, it makes no difference. Travel tickets are the only way to force a Mii's relationship higher in the vanilla game. If the Mii you gave a travel ticket to brings someone else with them, then their overall status will go up by one, though they'll usually only take their boyfriend or girlfriend. They will never take someone they have a low status with, so don't even bother, okay? Besides the tickets, there is no way to raise a Mii's relationship status. Everything else is a myth. Putting their apartments near each other's does nothing. Making them sing songs together does nothing. Giving them the same item does nothing. You can't force these guys to do anything. This is not The Sims. This is more of a reminder, but if none of your married couples are asking to give birth, then check that you didn't turn the settings off in the town hall on accident. Mii's can cheat on their lovers. For example, if me A asks out me B, who is in a relationship, me B can accept A's confession if B's status with their lover is red or lower. I've had this happen many times, it's hilarious. All of the vanilla tips will work for Tomodachi Collection. I'm not sure if that game has a save editor, so you probably can't hack it like you can in Tomodachi Life. And finally, yes, I know about the extra date options for the Korean version of the game and the secret breakup cutscene. You don't have to tell me about them. You can reroll to get these if you want, but the save editor cannot force them. And there you go. Now you're ready to control the drama of your dreams. These are all the secrets I have for Tomodachi Romance. You share all of my knowledge now. Hopefully this stops most of the questions I get daily, at least the most common ones. If you have any questions that I didn't answer, go ahead and leave them in the comments. But for now, I shall bid you farewell. Okay, bye. <laughs>